Welcome to Kestabon vlog number five. Um, this is another Tuesday Night Worlds ride that I did, and we are starting the first hot zone. This is the seven mile stretch um, that we do, it's the longest one. And uh, right now I'm just kind of thinking, uh, you know, hang on as long as I can. I've never made it to the end of, end of this with the main group, so I just want to conserve as much energy. Um, and Tony starts moving up to the front and then just kind of increases the speed a little bit. And I don't really want to follow him, but then when Johnny goes around me, I just decide that um, I'd rather stay on these guys' wheels than get swarmed and then end up possibly getting gapped. So I go with him and I just hang out on Johnny's wheel um, for a little while. So I don't really want to do too much work. Um, so I'm just okay with letting Johnny pull for a little bit right now. Um, but as we approach this turn, um, Johnny's going to look back and kind of look like he's waiting for somebody to come around him. And so I just decided to go ahead and do a pull. And um, the rest of the group stuck with us. So um, as soon as I go around him, somebody else comes around me and we just kind of get into a pace line that will continue for about the next two miles. So, as I am approaching the front of the group one more time, we're getting pretty close to uh, the turn that has the hill on it, um, which is where I usually get dropped on this hot zone. Um, and here I am kind of moving up into second position right behind Kevin, and Micah and James put in an attack right before the turn. And none of us on the front are really uh, some of the faster guys. So we just kind of let it go right now and uh, hope that we can just reel it, reel it back in. Um, but since they went off the front um, right before this turn, uh, once we get onto the hill, the pace um, just gets lifted and everybody starts to, to really push it up this hill. And uh, once again, I can't hang with them. And so I end up getting dropped right here where I usually do. So here we are on the second hot zone. This is only three miles long. Um, we're picking up um, probably about a mile into this uh, effort and uh, we just reeled back Keith and Desiree who went off right at the beginning and uh, we just kind of slowly reeled them back in. Um, and the last time I was on this ride, I ended up on the front accidentally just kind of following wheels and blew up 
and then went from first to second, or first to last in about five seconds. And so I'm, I've got that in the back of my mind right now, and I want to make sure I'm not doing too much work and not wearing myself out, um, not getting on the front if I don't feel like I can. Um, but I end up in second position right here, and even though everybody's pulling through, I decide to just hang out on Logan's wheel. Um, and he kind of picks the pace up, so I really don't have a problem hanging on to his wheel right now. Um, and so I'm just going to let him do a little work, relax. And then I notice that we're coming up to an intersection. Interse intersection. So kind of sneaky about getting on the front right here because I know that we have to slow down and pay attention and nobody's going to really attack for a little bit um, as we're going through the intersection. So I go ahead and get on the front and take it easy, drop the pace a couple miles per hour, and then cross the intersection and somebody else pulls through and I just kind of get back into the group. We're about a, about a mile out from the sprint finish finish right now so I'm just kind of trying to hang on for dear life right now the pace is starting to get pretty high the guys are starting to gear up for the for the sprint and I know that you know it's just going to take everything I have to hang on to the back um, of the group and I see Tony here and I know he's probably the last guy that um, is going to be contending for the sprint so I really wanted to hang on to his wheel but I just couldn't as we're getting up close to 35 miles per hour and I just let it go and cruised in to the finish line. last hot zone um, this is only two miles it starts off with a with a little kicker um, and right now I'm just trying to survive the hill um, a few of the people kind of get sorted out on this hill and uh, the name of the game is just stick with the group over the hill so I'm just trying to ride wheels and make sure I stay up with the front group and uh, I'm also really paying attention making sure that the guys in front of me aren't letting gaps open up um, make, making sure that I'm covering those if I need to. So as we come around this corner, um, I notice this uh, guy in the black with the neon yellow um, is right in front of me, and I know he's a pretty strong guy, so I just decide for this last mile I'm going to hang on to his wheel as much as I can no matter what. Um, and. Um, I can trust that he's going to put me in a pretty good position coming into the final sprint. And so that's what I do. So as we're approaching the very last hill, um, sure enough, he pulls me straight up to the to the lead group and uh, I'm in a really great position right now. Um, we're starting to pass a few of the guys that are popping and uh, come in. I can see the final sprint and some guys start to come around us. Keith opens up the sprint right here but I just don't have the legs to follow them and uh, that's where my day ends. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.